Hi everybody, Derek up here in Sun Valley. Uh, my tech talk is going to go back in time a little bit. Is spring is nearing and the listings are starting to come and we want to make sure that every listing is uh, looking as good as possible both in the photos as well as in the description that you uh, write up for your listing. So bear with me. I'm going to uh, go through a slideshow which I'm also emailing, uh, attaching this email and hopefully all of our listings uh, are going to be top-notch and make the viewers go, wow, I got to call that agent about that listing. All right, sit tight. Here we go. Okay, so I think there are, let's say, six things you really need to focus on as you're arranging your photos in the MLS. Um, and I'm not going to read these slides to you, but here are my six bullet points. The fabulous first five photos. Make sure those first five photos are great because that's how you get the viewer to stay on your listing. Uh, get yourself inside quickly. In other words, one exterior is probably enough unless it's really a phenomenal exterior, but get us inside to those rooms that the people are going to live in and that they care about most. Don't overshow. You don't need to say every single thing and show every single thing about this home. Uh, next bullet is tell a story, but don't worry too much about whether you're doing it all in the order of the home. That's for them to learn when they get inside the home, which of course is the overall goal. Uh, you want a great final photo something that really makes a statement um, and, and leaves the viewer with a really strong impression so they want to pick up the phone and call you. And then finally, uh, if there is a place to add text with your photos, please do that. At the very least, delete any of the, of the camera code speak that might be in there. You can read this at your leisure, but these are the six things I think that will help your listing photo presentation. Since we all judge a book by its cover, and you know we do, make sure that your first photo uh, is, is the home run photo. It's going to be an exterior. Uh, make sure that it, it has a good look to it and that it makes an impact that makes the viewer go, okay, I need to see more. After that one exterior, get inside. Take us into the big rooms, let's call them, the places where the families are going to spend most of their time. Living room, dining room, kitchen. You can use multiple photos of these areas as long as they show different points of view, but we want to see these big three family rooms, the places where the family is going to be spending the bulk of their time. Living room, dining area, kitchen. From those big rooms, we head to the master bedroom and master bath. Uh, Make sure these two things are in conjunction. If there is no master bath, you don't have to worry about the bath till later, but go from the master bedroom and bath to the guest bedrooms and baths. Uh, and here's a note, you don't need to show the toilet in your baths. You don't need to show every bathroom. As long as there's one or two uh, and they look good, that's enough. You don't need to show every bathroom. Once you get the master bedroom bath and guest bedrooms and baths out of the way, then you can do the other interiors. The powder room, the entryway, an office, a laundry room, a garage, a study, a media room, all those things. Uh, they come after those big rooms where people are going to be spending their time, no matter where they fall in the floor plan of the house. Then we can head back outside for deck shots, view shots, more exteriors, patios, but you don't need to use every single exterior your photographer provides you with. Only use the ones that you think show a, a good point of view, show the house in good repair, get rid of some of the cluttery backyard shots or garage shots or, or what have you. Um, use shots that are going to help sell the home. If you think of your final shot in your, in your photo presentation as the, the comedian's last joke or the knockout blow, that's a good way to, to picture how you want to leave the viewer. So save a good photo till the very end. Uh, it'll be almost a call to action. They're going to like this last photo so much they're going to have to call you because they want to set up a showing to see this wonderful listing. Okay, that was a look at uh, some photo best practices. Now we're going to talk about the written description, which I know is a tough task. I've got eight bullet points that I hope will help make this a little bit less onerous for you. Now, first of all, write as if you are speaking. So almost talk to your computer and just type what you're saying because you're all good talkers. That's why you're a real estate agent. Use complete sentences and correct grammar. Uh, avoid syrupy and overused adjectives, and I've got a list of those on the next page. Use specific details that set the listing apart. If there are specific things in the, the home, put those in the description. Uh, it adds credibility and it adds uh, uniqueness to your listing. Uh, bring the viewer into the description. Don't be afraid to use you and make them feel like they're part of this uh, conversation. 
avoid realtor speak and abbreviations. This is written, it should flow, it should look nice, it shouldn't have a bunch of capital letters and, and numbers and abbreviations in there. A couple more things. Be consistent. If you're going to do break a rule, break it all the time. Don't break it here and then not break it there. And then the last thing, proofread. Proofread, proofread, proofread. I'm sure there are errors in this, so shame on me, but um, proofread these things because every error counts against you. So here's a list of words to avoid if you can, mainly because they've been used so often that they really don't have any meaning. And uh, I, I think viewers don't get much out of these words anymore. Use them. No one's going to call you and say, hey, you shouldn't use the word plush. But just know that they don't do a whole lot anymore. As always, get back to me with any questions. Uh, education at ColdwellBankerSV.com, or you can call me. The more you know, the more you sell. I hope everyone is having a great March and uh, look forward to what the spring is going to bring. Bye-bye.